Girl, you wanna come to my motel? Bitch, I'll give you my room key. Girl, the way you digging yourself, girl. And I wanna fuck with you cause you the cutie. So bitch, you wanna come to my motel? All you gotta do is holla at me. Cause we're having an after party. Checking out six in the morning. Morning, that was that shit, dude. That was that shit, nigga. All right, Pitchfork TV, another episode of Selector here. We got Freddie Gibbs. Thanks for coming through, man. No, bro. Yeah. Appreciate it. For sure. So you uh, just got back off of like a short tour, right? Sure. You were in Europe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was out there with uh, Mad Lib and uh, J Rock. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to shouts out to Mad Lib and J Rock. We just did our thing. We rocked. You know what I mean? About I forgot. I don't even know how many eight to ten cities, something like that. We was in Europe, Russia. How was, was Russia? Everywhere. Oh, it was dope. It was dope. It was a uh, definitely a unique experience. <laughs> Uh, you know, just uh, being able to break the, the culture barrier with, mm -hmm. with the music, you know, that's something special, you know. What was the craziest thing you saw while you were in Russia? The AK-47 they gave me when I landed. It's <laughs> 2 a.m., the place is gonna close. We've been talking about how you're, you're trying to excel your craft as an artist. Like, right. what, what ch kind of challenges do you go after to kind of set your game up? Um, it's crazy you say challenges. Um, I mean, for instance, the, you know, the, the, the record with Mad Lib, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, I don't think it's too many, you know, gangster rappers, you know, out there that could probably do a record with him like that. You sure. know, like I'm trying to uh, put together and, you know, um, you know, I think that's a challenge for me lyrically, you know what I mean? Just to step into that, you know, his realm of beats mm -hmm. and bring my side of uh, my type of shit to it. So, I mean, you know, things of that nature. I was on your Wikipedia page, and you have uh, you have about like 50 upcoming projects. <laughs> so I, I just don't want know, man. Wikipedia just be throwing shit up. Though. That's why I wanted to go through some of them, kind of clear the air about all the projects that you have here. Yeah. So there's a record with a uh, straight slam and click. Oh yeah, the homies, yeah, Murder Cap Gangsters, MCGs. We about to put that out. You know what I mean? So we, I'm working on that right now. You know the homies from Gary. You know what I mean? East Side Slim. East Side Slim. That's the next shit. That's the next shit. That might be. That's the next shit after Babyface Killer and shit. Okay. So I'm working on that. I don't know how I'm gonna put it out or when I'm gonna put it out, but it's in the works. I'm like five songs in on that shit already. Heroin headband? <laughs> I was drunk in Russia, dog. <laughs> I was drunk in Russia, man. Heroin headband. That's something that might come out too. Yeah, that's gonna come out. This is by that's, far the better name. That's gonna be the debut album for Buck Naked. <laughs> Buck Naked. <laughs> We got a lot of different aliases and shit. Buck well, naked. Shout what about uh, <laughs> Cocaine Pinata? Yeah, Cocaine Pinata. That's the name of the Mad Lib album. Okay. I thought that was going to be Mad Gibbs. It's not Cocaine Pinata, baby. Okay. Uh, Necktie Party is your solo project? Yeah, I think so. I might change the name. Okay. So, how about the projects that are a little bit left to field, like the Best Coast project or the. Mm -hmm. The Colts project. You bump and go outside when you're driving around LA, or just man, they just send me the beat, man. And uh, you know, like I said, usually you know my collabs usually come from like, you know, people that I'm like mutual, got mutual friends with and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So we just do it, and it's easy, man. I don't, you know, I just like fucking with people, collabing with people that fuck with my music. And we, as long as we got a mutual respect, it's love, man. Just talking about Babyface Killer, like it's a four by four. You switch your flow up every time. Now, is that something you thought about? Ahead of time, or is that an organic thing? Um, really, to be quite honest, um, I was listening to uh, Trick Daddy that day, mm -hmm. and I just got like inspired to make that BFK song. To be honest, shout out to Trick Daddy, he's one of my favorite rappers. But uh, I was listening to his shit that day, and that like that flow he did something like you nigga want no I, I, uh, you know what I'm saying? And I okay. kind of was like, yeah, I'm gonna kind of, you know, try to in, in, implement that into my rap. Okay. You know, and it, and it worked. You okay. know what I mean? And, uh, you know, like I said, shout out to Trick Daddy. You know, guys like that inspired me to make music. You know what I mean? Guys like him and, you know, Bun and guys from that era. And, you know what I mean? 
and he inspired me to make good music, man. And that day I was on one. I was riding, smoking, bumping that trick. And mm -hmm. I went I went home and I was just pumped, ready to do my own shit, you know? Okay. When I, when I was being cold in hell, you know what I mean? I was on the phone with my sister and she was talking about um, having pains in my stomach because she's about to have a baby. So I made that, you know what I mean? My dog song at the end of the, end of the record. So, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, certain things in life and, you know, just give me that spark and make me want to make music. I can't just sit, I'm not just going to sit out and just, you know, be a robot and just boom, song, boom, song, boom, song. It ain't going to come out like that. Mm -hmm. It's always going to be something organic and it just got to be that feeling, man. It got to be the right moment, man. It got to be a mood, you know? Okay. We have two beats for you today. One is from Keyboard Kid. One work better for you than the other? I like this one. Okay. What about this one works better? Just feels like you can rap over it easier? Yeah. Yeah. It's Gibbs. That's Gibbs, baby. Set the dope to your toes, bro, you know what I'm saying? Uh. Yeah, back up, back up, cause I'm backed up with orders for dope. Hen dog in the corner of the smoke. Light it up, that's all that she wrote. Choke, permit the zine for my cough. Drop top with the knock fresh glock at the box and I'm itching to bust that bitch off. Let the soft paint was wet, pussy wet. I confess, cop the beans off half a birdie. Fuck the job and fuck the stress. Bitch, I'm in it in the wind. It vintage pieces on my neck. From Versace to Givenchy, former fabric cross my body. Stop the party, bitch, it's a stick up. Nigga, nobody move. In here reckless, make a bitch get naked. Like Blizzard and Juke, ain't shit changed. I just play the game and let you play the fool. Nigga still tryna make a name when my shit make the news. I'm smoking Pino, won't be zeros. Just living young and illegal. When I'm backtracking the jack in this 43 for what ego. Smoking Pino, won't be zeros. Living young and illegal. When I'm backtracking the jack in this 43 for what ego, nigga. Yeah, bitch. Give you motherfuckers a motherfucking rap lesson, nigga. R.I.P. Pimp C. Five years, my nigga. Rest in peace. Yeah. Mm. Dope up in my cup and I don't give a fuck. Dope up in my cup and I don't give a fuck. Mm. Is that good? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Little show, man. Hope y'all fuck with that shit, man. Yeah. Uh. I'm smoking dope and I sell dope. Uh. I'm smoking dope and I sell dope. For real. <laughs> 